Oh hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back for some more Rogor's Legacy. You, my young friend. It's nice to see you too. Um so I've been using Windows 11 and honestly the performance has been a lot better. However, let me confirm something. Uh, let's go to settings. What I really dislike about this game is why do I have frame generation on? All of a sudden. What? Was there an update? I think that it was an update. Because when I was on Windows 10. I can't use frame generation at all, at all. So that's kind of interesting. So you know what? I'll be right here. Let's uh, do 160 then. Uh, for the for that smoother experience, of course. How do I have frame generation? I'm fuck. Oh, well, whatever. Since I already have that. Uh, oh my god. This is what I mean. When I try to like play APS shooters, my mouse is like incapable. <laughs> <laughs> like it works, then it doesn't work and works again. Like I'm confused. Wait, does actually Windows 11 have. More of a fuck sakes, more of a frame generation support or something like that. Uh, we are in just letter and dungeon. I'm gonna go this way instead. I'm not going to lie, it's been a while since I last played the game. Um, and that's wholeheartedly my fault. Uh, but we are gonna get into this game now much much more than before uh, I have like completed Days Gone, The God of War and the, the obvious games like that and stuff like that so I mean uh, the faster I get also this uh, the faster I get this game completed as well the better it will be. Uh, let's go talk to the professor in McGonagall and have a little chit chat with her. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now. Regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior.
There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. All right, let me grab quick, quick, quick couple of screenshots. Uh, because this fucking thing confuses the living fuck out of me. Uh, there we go. That's the first one, and that's the second one. And it's invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Reparo? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Since I have this mod, I wa I'm curious after about something. Let's go with... Ultra settings for an example and let me enable ray tracing and see if I can still use the mod Apparently I can well Does the performance uh, have a it's uh, apparently not okay then um Dude I dude Fucking mouse. Grab that. That'd be cool. One, another one. Another one bites the dust. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking pain in the ass. I trust the preliminary task. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Right on. That's it, Arrow. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. Ravelli. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted letter too accurate and lashed out. Give me that paper. Oh, thank you, but about. 
Um, since we are able to run the game on ultra settings, uh, with the, um, with all, all of the quality shit, might as well. Uh, how did I get to that? I think I'm going the wrong way. I think I might go the wrong direction. Honestly, it's surprising that my BSC is able to go to handle the frame generation even more so with the fantastic uh, with the fantastic uh, ultra settings plus ray tracing. I mean, I'm playing the game at fucking 125 FPS right fucking now, uh, which is absolutely mind fucking blowing. Oh, I'm going out the wrong direction. Shite. It at, at times goes up to the fucking 300 nearly. Hello, looking for me? No, I'm not looking for Nancy, you. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Sure thing, buddy. I get so fucking surprising. I mean, frame, uh, some people say frame generation is absolutely useless. But... <laughs> I do love it. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better be in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Sure thing, buddy. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Excuses, excuses. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Like. Right now, I'm playing on fucking 100 to 160 pairs. Look, <laughs> from the Forbidden Forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that Hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the Hippogriffs? Absolutely. Man, what? this game is absolutely gorgeous in Ultra settings. There's a Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. I can see that. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area. Since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. 
Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I still really miss things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland. But it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Rebellio. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Oh, let me grab this mushroom. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, Dudley and Arian. Terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon. A demigod. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Right. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. Right. To explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. I don't need you, Natty. Thank you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Uh -huh. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander. And I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Sure Enjoy thing. yourself. I will see you soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, game. Fucking tutorials over here. Like, what the fuck? Alright, let's uh, go talk to the uh, one of the folks. Kitty! I did see a flying page somewhere. Potions, potions should be around here. Let me check the map. I literally walked past. Okay, I need to go here. These two stores. Let's head back. You can stop a thief in their tracks. All of them, there is. Here you are. An inquiring oh. mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity. 
But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. All right. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Let's get rid of some of the weaker uh, stuff. Oh, I almost, uh, I cancelled that. So that's done. Let me check my inventory real quick. Uh, glasses. So they are pretty much the same defense. I suppose we could sell them, but you know what? I'll hold on to them for now. Now, where is the Ollivanders? Here it is. Merlin's blooming beard, not again. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Hello, sir. I'm looking for, for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivander's, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Hmm. Uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. <laughs> well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps, yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Oh, looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um... Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. So now we're going to modify our, our fucking one. Um. Let's go here. Curious indeed.
Right, uh, let's go How with it. So intriguing. Solid. Let's go with it. 14 and hot. Uh, no, actually, 14. Since I like to be specific, let's go with Redwood. Yes, and uh, we are gonna go with Dragon. Uh. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. All right, moving on. Some wing wings. What do we need now? We need um, potions. Right to the right or left of here. Uh, I think it's the Junkos. Did I pass it? Oh, I didn't. Okay. Let's actually go for the seeds first. Thank you. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm in the way inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. I grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Right on. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. All of that has to wait, unfortunately. All right, potions. I'm telling you, this is bullshit. When I don't have my my uh, my uh, mouse on my mouse pad, it works fine. But all of a sudden, it likes to be a cock. Before I move on... And Hulk! <sighs> Smash! 